Welcome back to our playthrough of Primordia. Uh, we just saved here because I need to do that because last time we crashed. I don't think it'll happen again, but just in case. So there is a bus here. We had made our way to Metropole to find out that somebody named uh, Metro Mind, the computer controlling the metro, the transit system around here, has taken over the city from the council. It sounds like we need to get the council, with the council, back up and running to get things happening here. Um, this seems to be a problem here. We're going to continue into the city. Uh, we're still looking for that large black unit that stole our uh, core, um, our power core from our ship. He has lasers and claws. I'm not sure how yet to deal with him. And um, there's lots of stuff to trade from that Tyro just over here. So hopefully we can find something to help him. Well, not help him, but get supplies from him. But otherwise, uh, let's continue on. Better just to leave. Now, this actually does look like a courthouse. Let's see what's going on here. Waiting area. That's sad. Oh, he's got a little monocle and a, they got a top hat. I didn't see that. Ahoy, my dear friend. Oswald Factorville at your service. He's no more your dear friend than Rex is your creation, you besotting gear oiler. Oh, don't mind Cornelius. He's been bitter since the first great rolling brownout. Better? Better? I'll show you bitter, you backbiting butt snatcher. I think I like these guys, boss. Yeah, they're very snippy. Uh... What are you guys what fighting, are you about? Two fighting about? Justice! I'm here for justice! To prove that I, Cornelius Factorbuild, created this marvelous machine, Rex. Rex, Cornelius built. Ignore him, my dear friend. Candidly, he is 10, 23 flops short of a kilo if you catch my drift. The machine's name is Oswald Built. Rex Oswald Built. This is over a name? Why not just let Rex decide? Ridiculous! This is about principle. This is about pride. So, uh, boss? Would you fight over me like this? You could call yourself Crispin Crispian for all I care. I like that. As long as you still pull things off ledges for me, that is. Glad to know I'm loved. The real question is, where the hell did he get a top hat? How long ago have humans disappeared? I was assuming it was a while ago. How are you going to decide who gets Rex? For the law, fool. The law. Please excuse my brother. He can barely remember Pi to the 23rd digit, let alone his manners. Four. I arrest my case. Suffice it to say, old chap, we await the reopening of the courthouse. Or more precisely, we await a summons from Arbiter who will decide our case. Who will say whose contribution was more important? Who will say, in fact, that my contribution was more important? These guys remind me of an Eddie Murphy Dan Aykroyd movie. I can't think of the title out right at the moment. Ah, uh, but, uh... What's in that building? Why, Arbiter's Court, of yeah, course. Yeah, I called it! Why else courthouse. Would we be here? I need to see Arbiter. We all do, my dear friend. But the courthouse is locked, and first come, first serve. I'm also looking for that big scrapper, scraper robot, whatever the hell his name robot. is. It floats and has lots of claws and shoots lasers. Yeah, that's stole sucks. something of mine. Have you seen it? Indeed. The robot you describe sounds like Scraper, Metromind's enforcer. Whatever he took is gone forever. I refuse to accept that. Oh, he refuses. How delightful. Oh, uh, do you know do you where I can find a power, power source? Alas, my friend, power is not so abundant in Metropole as it once was. That mag and Metromind seized it all, seized it, and doles it out. And there's hardly enough to go around now. Metromine keeps all power sources in the Great Tower where the Council used to meet. If you want to share it, you will need to pay her in megacycles. Megacycles? Yeah, what, yes, what are we talking about here? Megacycles, you ninny. CPU cycles. Ah. Brain power. Kind of power she really wants. Her own low-rate processor was made for running trains, not a city. So, ultimately, there's CPU cycles, and apparently she doesn't have enough processing power, so she's... <laughs> She's t pay taking her rent from the residence's processors. That's interesting. I was a little bit worried about she was taking some of her life, because just even though it's a cycle, I didn't know if they were talking about a CPU cycle, which they are. I'm okay with that. But I don't necessarily want to set up a bank account here. However, I will say Metropole, 
not as creepy as I was imagining. I was just hearing the words carousel in my head, and I'm like, nope, don't go. Don't go, buddy. You don't need to be there. Could someone else judge your case? Of whom were you thinking? Metro Mind, perhaps? Authoritative, to be sure, but I fear she would claim Rex for the good of all. And since the subway schemer... He means Metro Mind. Shut down our builder factor. He cannot help either. What about Horatio? Who? Me. And why should we listen to you? I've built a robot before, and I have no stake in this. Yes, yes, well and good, but this is a matter of law and logic. A bit harder than banging together a tin can like your companion. How can we know your reasoning is sound? Now, I am a bit of a... what is it? My character apparently is a pretty good builder and apparently I've nailed down that uh, sarcasm subroutine pretty well. Because that's always... <laughs> in, was it always popping up? Uh, how about we test me? Test me. An interesting proposition. What do you say, Cornelius? What do I say? I say that you are a liar and a thief, Oswald. But as to this Horatio, well, as to him, so be it. Boss, if they make us find seven lost crystals, I'm quitting. Shh. Roger. I did not Consider get that this. reference. At the binomial biennial, seven robots and the probability oh, circle shit, um, gather from a party. The what circle is gathered at the what what? I, I wasn't ready for a test. test. I know I said I that, said but quiet. okay. Each robot uh, is either a me... built or a stone wilder built. Yep. Blasted stone wilders. And moreover, each robot is designed with either a quad core, quad -core. a linear type, or a multiplex processor architecture. This is ridiculous. I really hope they let me ask Pay attention. Factor or stone wilder. Quad core, linear type, or multiplex. Indeed. Now I will tell you three things about these probabilitists. First, there are more factor built robots than stone wilder builds. Okay. Second, every linear type robot was built by factor. Finally, stone wilder never built a robot with a quad core. Now listen, which of the following statements about the probabilitist circle cannot possibly be true? All right. Uh, let's actually hear that damn question again here. I'll Could you actually repeat write the question? this down. Hmm. Indeed. At the binomial biennial, seven robots in the probability circle are gathered for a party. So we have each seven robot robots. Is either a factor built or a stone wilder built. And moreover, each robot is designed with either a quad core, a linear type, or a multiplex processor architecture. Now I will tell you three things about these probabilities. First, there are more factor built robots than stone wilder builds. Okay. Second, every linear type robot was built by factor. Finally, stone wilder never built a robot with a quad core. Now listen, which of the following statements about the probabilities circle cannot cannot possibly be, be true? <sighs> Five robots have linear processors. Um. That sounds right, because there's more factory um, robots than Stern Wilders. And factory builds in linear processors, so I think that's right. Five robots have quad core. Um, the majority of the people are factory built. So Stern Wilder not make quad core, so that, that still could be true. Uh, four rob robots have multiplex processors. Um, I think everyone can make multiplex processors, right? So that could be true. Four robots were built by Sternweiler. Um, wait, the majority are um, factor built. So four robots were built by. If there's only seven, then four would be the majority. So the majority that can't be true. But let's look on. Five robots were built by factor. That one could be true. Yeah, I'm going with this one. Four robots were built by Sternweiler. Good show. The preceding facts are unchanged. Now, answer this. If exactly two factor-built robots have the same type of processor architecture, then which of the following must be true? Two of the factor types have, um... I totally blanked out on the question. What they asked me again? Could you repeat the question? I'm sorry. Huh. Bear Indeed. with me, folks. I just ate a small portion of ice cream, and it's settling. Each robot is either a factor built or a stone wilder built, and moreover, each robot is designed with either a quad core, a linear type, or a multi. Yep, heard that. Things about these first: there are more factor built robots than stone wilder builds. 
Second, every linear type robot was built by Factor. Okay. Finally, Sternweiler never built a robot with a quad core. So Sternweiler yeah, only makes multiplex. Exactly two Factor built robots have the same type of processor architecture. Then which of the following must be true? So the Factor builds have to be the majority. So they have to be. What is it? Either four or four, five, or six factor builds. Um, one of the seven ro robot. One of the seven robots has a quad core processor. Um, Stern Wilder didn't make quad core. Um, what the hell have you? The factor built can make multiprocessors. The multiplex ones, and they can make the quad, and they can make the other one. I'm not sure. If, I don't think that's true, because there could be more than one that has a quad core. I think. So let's move down. Two of the seven robots have linear type processors. That could be a possibility too, because if there's four, then the rest of them could be like. Oh, I suppose. If two of the factor builds, was that the question? Was two of the factor builds or two of the machines? Factor build. robots have the same type of processor architecture, then which of the following must be true? Alright, so assume we use the four here, there could be there could be two quads, a linear, and a multiplex, and that would only leave two that are similar, and the rest of them would be multiplex, right? Or it could be two linear, one quad, and one multiplex. And the rest could be multiplex as well. Or it could be two multiplex, I think. And then one linear and one quad. So in those, one of the seven robots is a quad core. That actually might be true, because at least one of them... Oh, I'll, I'll come back to this one. Two of the seven robots have linear. I don't know about this one, because we could do that otherwise. I mean, we could figure out a configuration that doesn't have linear with the information, I think. Three of the seven robots were built by Sternweiler. We can't say that, because even though they're the majority, I mean, there could be five, four that were factor-built, five that were factor-built, or six that were factor-built. So we don't want to say this one. I don't. Definitely three. I don't want to say two or three. Four of the seven robots have multiplex processors. We don't know that for certain because all of these could be... Hmm. You know, it must, it must be four slash seven as the distribution because otherwise we'd end up with uh, more factor built with... Uh, more factor built with uh, similar processors, right? I might be following up this horribly. Stay with me, folks. Stay with me. So we'll assume it's a 4 to 3 ratio, right? That means that three of the seven robots were built by Sternweiler. Right? Is that true? Five of the four of the seven robots have multiplex processors. I think both of these would be true in that instance, then. Four of the seven robots have multiplex processors. Failure. Oh, wow, Failure. that's a failure. Clearly, you are unfit to charge our case. Oh, because there's a configuration where, um, where five of them crud. Do we ask him again? Oh, thank goodness. At the binomial biennial, seven yep. robots there was a configuration where we have two multiplexes, each robot and then we could have had three additionals. So that would have left five. And moreover, each robot is designed with either a quad core, a linear type, now first, second, five, now which... All right, so in this one, so it's definitely not this one. Oh, what was it? This is the first question again. Can you repeat, repeat that question? Into the each robot and more now first, second, finally. Now listen. Okay. Which of the following statements about the cannot be true. circle cannot possibly be? Okay. Um, four of the robots robots were built by Stern. Four robots. Good. The proceed now. If exactly. 
All right, so in one of the instances, it looks like we could technically have up to five multiprocessors, or multiplex processors. So that one's not it anymore. We just tried that. Three of the seven robots, I think this is the one, because if we had more factor built, there'd be more copies, right? There'd be more um, people that have similar exact same processors. Three of the seven robots were built by Sturmweiler. Correct. Oh, correct. Here yes, there is we go. the third question. The facts are still unchanged. Which of the following types of processor architecture might you find in a probabilitist built by Sternweiler? Probably those are, They only make multiplex. Don't they? Yeah, because Sternwilder does not make any quad, and factory, or the factor robots only build linear. They're the only ones that build linear types. So the only one left is they only build multiplex. Only multiplex. Hmm. Well, it seems we underestimated you, Mike. Oh, bam! Shamba! Please, take some time to consider, and let us know when you are ready to hear our arguments. Yeah, snap. What do you think, Rex? Can somebody talk to him? Crispin, translate. Is that really the best idea you can come up with, boss? It's one of many, Crispin. Don't get sassy. Use a data pouch on him? How do we... I doubt that will have any effect. Fine. Ooh, uh, does he use some sort of weird encryption? Stay, stay, How Rex. How would that even work? <sighs> Is there no way that we can train... Oh, yeah, that's busted, too. We still got this signal thing. All right, what do you got to say to me? I'm ready to hear your arguments. I'm ready to hear your arguments. Excellent, excellent. My dear friend, this is not a difficult case. In the Primordium, it was once said, 10 people have 10 ideas and 20 idle hands. Wise Horatio, long years have passed, but the principle remains true. Did Cornelius have the idea for my beloved Rex? I can see he did. But who built him with his own claws and tools? Who hammered and soldered and wired Rex? That would be my humble self. Wise Horatio, a robot's fabric has the suffix built, not designed. And Rex is Oswald built, no matter who designed him. Okay. Mm. It makes a good case, boss. What about you, Cornelius? Ah, if you're so smart, you can figure this out for yourself. The question isn't what built Rex, but who built him? Your little friend there isn't named hammer built or plasma torch built. You call him Horatio built. Every robot uses tools to build. Oswald was merely a tool, a tool with tools. My vision was the creative force. And if you disagree, then you can go and rust in the rain. Hmm, what do you think, boss? Who gets to take credit? Huh. I do slightly have a preference toward Cornelius because he was the one that designed it. But technically, Factor built both of these robots, and they could be considered tools, right? However, nobody built him. Well, people physically built him. I'm gonna say Factor. Factor built both of them. Neither of you could have built Rex without the other, so neither of you can put your name on him. But you both share a common builder, Factor. A common denominator, right, boss? There we go. <sighs> High five, Crispin! Oh, I'm sorry about the Therefore, arm thing! Your yeah. robot's name is Rex Factor Built Built. Factor Built Built? Ridiculous! And yet, the name is beyond dispute. Indeed. Take this, then, as a sign of our appreciation. Yeah! Oh, one coin! You cheap bastard! I should have saw that coming. to the Primordium itself. Oh, oh! Maybe, maybe he's not a cheap bastard. Maybe he gave us an object that's really awesome. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm hopeful. You know, my idea would have been to threaten to cut Rex in half. Oh, that's you a horrible idea. When I cut that fuse box open. Yeah, but that Rex just rubbed me the wrong way. Why? He was so adorable. He had little tiny wheels. Hello. 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 I don't think you can hear. It. I'm going to use this damn decryption module on something. How would that even work? Because I don't know, right? I don't know. Leave that. Keep information. Uh, I guess we need to... What did he give us, anyway? A disc. It's a silver disc with a faded image embossed on its front. 
So help me if he gave us like a sack of Jui a dollar. Oh, but maybe it's old enough to give that one guy. What are you doing here? Waiting. For what? My bus. Uh, I'm pretty sure the bus isn't coming. It will come. Your bus is a burning wreck about two blocks from here. It will come. I must go home. Metromind will take me home. That's sad. Sounds like Snuffleupagus. Snuffleupagus? There you go. Buses run every ten minutes. Ten is crossed out, and thirty is written below it. Oh. Thirty is crossed oh. out, and sixty is written below it. Sixty is crossed oh. out, and daily is written below it. Daily minutes? That doesn't make sense. If it makes you feel better, daily is crossed out, and service is suspended. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, that bus is probably the other one. Why is the music again once so loud? Uh, not audio, but music volume. Every, I am waiting. Every time I save, that music gets louder on me. We'll help you out there, you sad, sad robot. <sighs> okay. All storage bladders. Oh, it's you that's again. A good thing. Oh, tower. I'm pretty okay. sure that wiring isn't up to code. All right. Well, we got a shiny coin. Maybe it's old enough to trade for that. Something I can't remember. What item is it that we wanted to trade? I'm not here to steal. Boss, even if there's some, co I propose we maybe for once the other agreed. Ah, fine. Not gonna have. Fine. Information terminal doesn't help us at all. We haven't gone up there yet. What the hell's this? Beep, deep, beep, deep, beep. I didn't see this one either. Excuse me. Hello. I think it's ign. I didn't see this guy either. Gray robot. Why does I no rest. one have anything to tell me? Isn't my dear friend Horatio? To what do I owe the pleasure? Have you come to relieve me of another belonging? But Rex is right here. For the moment. Soon his visitation with Cornelius will begin. I'm sorry. Yeah. Please do not Shared custody. Your false sympathy. Why do you and Cornelius hate each other? Firstly, because he is arrogant, incompetent, and dishonest. And secondly, because I once loaned him something of great sentimental value to me, and he lost it. So why'd you ever like him in the first place? I cannot say. Goodbye. Parting is so... What did he loan? I don't have anything to say. Do you want the shil silver coin here? I doubt that will happen. Okay. Fair enough. I'd been sad if we just gave it to that guy and he's happy now, and then... Let me see Let your me see stuff. stuff. Come take a look. Oh, is his name Tyro, or did he say Ty? I don't remember what it is. That servo unit is whole. What was he willing well, to trade us motor, for? If you can find a bigger motor. We don't need a the battery. He'll give us for. And there's an old noble robotic subsidy. Not in. Not interested. Small We're motor. Not to pick up Rand. Tyro, I'm gonna do us all a favor. We don't Fuel need cell? a. Have I have this? no need. For uh, circuit uh -oh. board. Bring me something that'll cover a face in it. Nope, I don't have that. A memory I'll trade it for some real. Ooh, um. You wanted something antique and fancy. How about the silver disc? A fine trade. There we go. Here's oh, he's calling me Tyro. Now, all you need to do is plug it into a data pouch. But yeah, we got a data pouch. No plug. Never said there was. <laughs> you, you evil bastard! How do we plug it in then? Plug it into it. It needs a plug. Oh, where do we get a plug? It's a memory access device that can plug into my data pouch. That is, provided it had a plug. <sighs> Damn it, I think we used the plug in the sensor, didn't we? Yeah, I think we did. Shyster. Alright, let's just save, make sure everything's good. Call this uh, six save. Is 
I think we're still good on time though, so uh, let me double check. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any comments about the video or what you may want to see on the channel in the future, please leave us a comment below. And if you would like to see more of our future videos, feel free to subscribe.